Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today we saw the high tech sector, the NASDAQ stock index go up again 1.5%. And it looks to me like tech stocks, growth stocks, they're looking like a juicy buy opportunity right now. So let me give you guys an overview of what happened today, followed by looking at the large NASDAQ names and give you my view of what I think which names you could be buying right now to potentially profit on your portfolio short term. Those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. Would appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel as well as press the like button as well as also would appreciate if you recommend my channel on social media to your family, friends, etc. Would appreciate your support. Today is currently uh, April the 1st. Uh, it is April Fools. Yes, it is, but no, I'm not kidding with today's ideas. That was a terrible, terrible joke. But today is Tokyo Japan time. Uh, it is April the 1st, it is 2.17 p.m. Mania, it is still at 12.17 a.m. at New York Eastern time. So let's get started here. First and foremost, what happened today with the markets? Uh, today, the uh, Dow Jones was down only 0.26%, the S&P was up 0.36, but the NASDAQ today was up today 1.54%. And this is interesting to me because it looks like these small cap stocks, it looks like uh, some of the growth stocks are starting to make a comeback right now. Uh, so let's walk through the different sectors today by looking at the different ETFs and give you my opinion of what's going on in the market right now. As usual, guys, if you're new to investing, if you're new to my channel, feel free to uh, sort of review some of my previous videos by going to my channel homepage and you can see the investing for beginner playlist or feel free to review some of the uh, videos in the description area below. So let's first start with looking at the Dow Jones ETF here. Uh, today, the Dow Jones ETF, we see here the volume is still pretty small. It's getting slower and lower every single day, uh, which to me indicates that probably the market is just waiting right now for Friday's jobs report. S&P 500 today, volume actually picked up a little bit today, better than yesterday, uh, sort of sitting around average for the last one week or so. Now, the NASDAQ QQQ today, this is the important one. Uh, we're seeing this, the volume was only slight today, but I'm noticing that the RSI now is picking up back above 50 and I think this is sort of interesting that maybe we may be breaking this short term sorry this medium term RSI trend here <clears throat> followed by the MACD here we're seeing that the MACD is sort of perking up right now to me it's showing that is potentially going to go higher from here as well uh, Bollinger Band as well it's sitting sort of sitting in the middle it's not overvalued yet but I think that it's probably going to break this 50 day moving average this orange line soon uh, also looking at the Russell today the Russell today also had nice volume uh, uh, and it looks to me like the Russell is probably going to break above higher above this 50 day moving average. Uh, the green line again indicates, sorry, the green bar again indicates that the volume is around normal. And it seems to me like probably the MACD is going to cross as well. Uh, LQD again seeing really nice volume here I pointed this out yesterday I think this is still a nice juicy buy uh, this investment grade bond sector is continuing to go up the high yield bond sector also going up so the bond market's doing nicely here uh, TLT however still the US Treasury market uh, still continue to go down otherwise we're seeing here biotech sector also saw a nice buying today up 4.26 percent uh, the soft or sorry the this is the uh, semiconductor index was also up today 2.44 percent on pretty nice volume this chart looks looks like it's going up uh, followed by I didn't see any other real big movements here uh, the financial sector continues to go down a little bit uh, and otherwise guys it's just a very low volume market at the moment not much movement going on here um, just looking at the let's say the 10-year treasuries here yeah today again it was kind of like a yeah it moved down a little bit so the yields are still continuing to go up a little bit here uh it's around 1.726 percent but it seems like the market is kind of not too worried about higher treasury yields at the moment and the nasdaq names are going up and it looks to me like potentially these high tech names are still uh, continuing to go up right now so now let's look specifically at the nasdaq here and let's point out are there interesting tech stocks for you to be buying in your portfolio so you can be profiting from this situation so let's go through this here uh, now let's first go through the nasdaq weights here to see which names move the most now looking at the nasdaq 100 these are the largest tech stocks in the Nasdaq composite, we see here that these are the biggest movements here. As usual, guys, Tesla is a volatile name. It goes down the most. It also goes up the most. Uh, and otherwise, we saw NVIDIA also had a big movement today, but nothing really big standing out here. So I think we should just go through each one and take a quick look at the charts to see if there's an interesting opportunity in these names. Uh, let's start with Google here. Looking at the chart right now, Google's just been sitting in like this sort of like this sideline range uh i don't want to say sideline a eh? 
it's been sitting in a range right now not moving uh, it just hasn't really gone up or down so there, there is really no trend right now in Google to me it's very difficult to say that I, it's very difficult for me to recommend this as a buy right now given that I don't see a trend uh, Apple this is looking like a pretty nice chart here it's a one two three four this is looking like a W chart nice buying volume today probably looking to me like it's going to continue to go up from here Facebook as well it's nice looking go up here as well it's already gone up uh, Amazon also I think looks interesting because it's below the 200 day this blue line and below the orange line so this still looks like one of my favorites uh, Microsoft as well it's interesting but it's still significantly above the 50 day it's significantly above the 100 day sorry what is this one here this is the uh, I believe it's the 200 day moving average here it's still significantly above that so it looks nice but it's not as cheap compared to let's say Amazon Netflix is well it's looking cheap but it's above the 200 moving day nvidia looking nice but again above the 200 moving day tesla yeah again above the 200 day but it's below the 50 day so it's sort of in between uh i don't know how to really make a look of this chart right now because there's not that much volume so i can't tell whether this is real or not uh, adobe this has gone up quite a lot i recommended this two weeks ago in my video and this has gone up really nicely it's already gone past through the 50 day and the 200 day at the moment so it doesn't look super cheap to me anymore uh paypal as well also between the 50 and the 100 day so guys looking at all of this let's give me let me give you my my quick consensus right now on how I think you should be playing this situation, uh, whether it's just just the Nasdaq overall or which name specifically, which stock you should be buying for your portfolio. As usual, guys, investing is and always will be self responsibility. So please do note, guys, that whatever I recommend in my videos, please make sure that you check on your own and always check your portfolio don't try to rely on a single person sorry i keep saying this guys but it's so important right now especially as uh youtubers twitter etc there's more and more impact from the financial community here uh in this area so please guys do check note that always take everything with a grain of salt no matter who's saying anything uh so again guys looking at long-term investment portfolio today's portfolio today's uh recommendation today's video i don't think it really has that much to do with your long-term account this is a separate account that i'm I'm talking about today your short-term investment account and today short-term wise i'm thinking that look if you're still short a little bit of nasdaq you might be wanting me to cover uh, as in NASDAQ related ETFs, NASDAQ related CFDs, NASDAQ related futures. One of the CFD companies I've been using for seven years or so is below. You can see below it's IG. You can look at, take a look at the link. And we can see here in that uh, company that right now, currently the long position in the market is only 59%. So it's not that long at all. It this used to be much, much higher around like 70, 80%. So a lot of people have gotten out of this. And to me, it looks interesting because I think now the CFD market is probably going to continue to go up, uh, indicating that individual investors are going to continue to buy it so i think that if you're short the nasdaq you want to buy it if you just want to go outright long the nasdaq it looks okay but i would prefer right now i think my favorite name continues to be probably amazon because amazon is still below its 200 day moving average below this blue line and it's the only name that i could find among the uh at least the top 10 top 10 names that i could see here that's still below its 200 day moving average indicating to me that's probably still undervalued on a long term as well as a short term basis and right now the charts are pointing in the right direction that this will probably at least go towards 31.79 which is the 50 day or maybe break it and go towards 3200 so guys that's my idea for the day hopefully you enjoyed today's channel if you did please press the like button as well as this as well as the subscription button also would appreciate if you guys recommend my channel social media etc would appreciate your support thanks so much guys and have a wonderful day